All right, is everybody ready? Hey. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Y'all ready? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Bye. Relax. What's up, my Beats One listeners? This is Brock Hampton. It's your boy Kevin Abstract checking in right now. Pop, 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 pop. What's good with you y'all? You already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going we gonna to start it off with something different this week. I mean, today. Um, we're going we gonna to start it off with... We're going to start it off with HK telling us how his night was and, like, how, how he handles the pressure. You know, because the pressure is on right now, right? Mm-hmm. And also, we want to give a shout-out to Taylor Swift because we dropping on the same day. Is it Lover, right? You know what it is. Don't act like you don't know what it is. It's everywhere, man. Lover Radio. Just kidding. We should collab with her. That'd be great. I would love to. No beef. No Josh. No Josh. Merlin back. What up, bro? Merlin! Merlin! I thought you was going to bed, bro. Nah, man. Nah, bro. We live for real. These are not going to be We got another day. We got to get some rats. I feel that, man. Yeah, man. Got early day tomorrow. We've been... Up shooting this video. What video? For no halo. Like, yeah, bro, we've been we've been in the hills. Tomorrow we're gonna be by the ocean. It's gonna be wonderful. Beautiful places. What you eating, Karen? I mean a hot dog. Mm. Of from Carney. What's your preferred condiment? Should I say it? Did you say corn? What's your preferred condiment? Um a little relish. Oh, mustard. <laughs> <laughs> you like regular relish or sweet relish? Oh, ketchup, ketchup sauce, too. Ketchup butter. Y'all go back to, uh... Good. Anybody here like sweet relish or are we just regular relish gang over here? <laughs> should we Should we Bye. go back to HK? <laughs> oh, yeah. What's, oh, yeah. HK thought he could duck this question. podcast, man. No, this, this is great. Lost in it. <laughs> um, so my night last night. Um, I came here. To record this, I, was, I, I learned from the last wow. episode. I came here to record. Well, actually, I came here to work on more stuff, and it was just easier to get eyes on Ian to like look at stuff and approve stuff. But then also, you guys were recording Ginger Radio, episode one. I was like, yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. By the way, Ginger Radio, we already know. Yeah, we live on Beats One. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Beats Ginger One. Radio. Beats One. Ginger. Ginger Radio. And, Ginger uh, and so this after, Friday. This Friday. After that hour or so, I came back and some of the some of the guys came back too. And then I was working on merch for the show on Friday. How many pieces you guys got over there? Bro, I honestly can't count. Uh, yeah. if I if I'd have just ballpark. Yeah, like select all of them. Okay, well that's that's pretty approximate. I'd say for like, I'd say there's about like twenty, about just about twenty items for the show on Friday. Twenty items. Who, who's designing all these pieces? You? Uh, I'm. I designed some of it. Nick designed some of it. How you handle Wes pressure, designed man? some of it. Wes, shout out Wes. Yes, yes. Wes who's Wes? A, who's Wes? Wes is the one on the getting hugged by Joe on the uh, ginger cover. Okay, how do you know him? How do you guys know him? I man, I when I moved to San Marcos, he was a uh, he was already a friend of everybody's he was around a lot and and then we kind of just grew close through that you know just being in san marcos you know because it was just all of us it was nobody else what does west us. do west uh currently he's a part of the creative team alongside uh me nick kevin down ashlyn gray uh you oh yeah rob too <laughs> i honestly i'm blanking out brothers i haven't well, because I'm blanking out, and I was talking about last episode, I need Red Bulls, and that's just the case, because if I'm going back into my night... Do you guys have creative meetings? Yeah, we have creative meetings. What type what do y'all do? You know, iMessage be popping. We have the creative chat. We also have them at the creative house, at the big, big meeting table. And then it's a black marble table. It's not marble, it's a black table. But it's, 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 it's there's a beautiful chandelier. Right, 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 right. Um, right. Inspire you guys. You know, in the Big Wheels video, where I'm working and you're rapping. Yep. That's where that table is. Does it inspire me? Yes, the chandelier inspires me. You know, beauty beauty inspires me, especially being around it in person. So tell us about the hat that your brother Matt is wearing. 
Okay, so this is a. Uh, this is a, this is audio. We filming, buddy. It's a. Uh, <laughs> this is a ginger. It's a ginger. You know, sheriff's cap. There's a sheriff badge on there, embroidered. Brockhampton on the side. Take the odds. I'll keep dreaming on the other side. Um, designed by Nick. Um, okay, what we about got the, it. what about these patches on on your brother's patches? Wow. Okay, right so that's a throwback. That's uh, that's the last era. That was iridescence. Oh, a puppy actually. Puppy era. You know what the What's the puppy? Uh, puppy was. Uh, I don't know what puppy is, man. It was supposed to be an album. I heard. I thought it was team effort. Pencil. Pencil. Uh, <laughs> patches were made for the vests that the performers wore on stage when we had this whole. You know, army vibe going. Army, not really. But the patches were made by the pseudo creative team. We didn't really have a full, like, we didn't, like, dub it the creative team, but it was just some, everybody that was, like, willing to work on, like, design stuff at the mm. time mm. made these patches. And, uh, yeah, Bari stole the whole box. Not say stole, because he's going to be mad I say stole. Bari found the box and he's been putting it on every article of clothing he owns ever since. Let me talk. Marlon wants to speak. When you're done, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'm, I'll, I know where I'm at. Word. Yeah, I mean, Jabari, like, went, had so much fun with the patches. Uh, he, I would see him, like, every day. <laughs> Merlin and Bari. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can, I say, can I say Jabari? Yeah, me and Jabari, we roommates at, at, at this particular moment in time. How big, what's your house look like? Um, It's fire. It's like... Okay, first of all, Jabari's a dope ass roommate. He's he's very clean. Um, but our house is, is like it's like on the f it's on the ground. It's a it's a bungalow. It's an arts and crafts bungalow. So made in the American craftsman style. You know, this is Merlin. You know, your your resident architect rapper. Mm. And it's just beautiful. Like we got a front yard, backyard. Yeah, and every day I'd, I'd see this man, like, putting on the patches. Like, he he was having fun. And, like, some of the shirts, like, he put them on, like, the bowling shirts or, like, the varsity jackets. Like, it really, like, it looks like it's a Brockhampton item. You feel like you low-key a designer? Uh, maybe, yeah. You got it then? You, mean, would you ever make, like, a clothing brand or something? Yeah, definitely will later on in the future. Just have to get to that point. Um, he was working on something at one point, right? Yeah. When was that? Sands, 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 Sands. Sands. Oh yeah. I told you I was like that shirt. Like I made this. Oh yeah, that was part of the Sands. Yeah. What was on it? Um, Sands. Uh, I really liked on um, this um artist Egan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name really well, but uh, there was, it came a certain point in time where I, was, I just got fed up of buying clothes, and I was like, you know, I just want to wear my own shit and make my own. Shit. So, started doing that. And the thing with the patches, too, is just, like, Weston brought the patches. He's like, yo, these are cool. I was like, this is actually f***ing far. Like, why have I not seen this? I decided, you know what? I just want to make Brockhampton uniforms for when I go make this album. Gin Pombo Ginger, by the way. So I would just put patches on a bunch of, like, blank articles and other bowling shirts and different shit that I found just so that I could go to work and feel like I had a uniform on, per se. That's beautiful. Uh, I feel like that kind of helped with the music somehow because I felt, I felt really good while I was making the music. Okay. And I felt like the younger B would be proud if he would, if he could see into the future what it was looking like, like and the music I was making of. Ah, it's like, like that Southside video, right? Yeah, like that Southside video where he talks about like he puts his chains on, and shit, but he he likes to hear a little clinkling, makes him feel like he's really doing that. Shit. Yeah, that's how he said that I he knows them. he came out the mud, you know, like I feel being them. able to do that in that moment. Do we have a guest on Ginger Ring? Should yeah. we let the world know where we recording this at? Yes. Where we at? Where? We're in Mulholland. Who is it? Is that Chick Fil A? Oh, that's me. That's me. My fault. Uh, Ryan did. No. Have a nugget, please, bro. I didn't get a nugget. No, no, you can put them right there. Thank you, bro. Some Chick Fil A sauce, at least. Hey, who got that? I'm gonna say Chick Fil A. This is our last. 
week before uh, today's the last day before we start doing like real interviews. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's, I make it scares me. It definitely makes me nervous. None of us are media trained. It definitely makes me nervous. This is good practice. Us talking to each other? Mm-hmm. Get more comfortable. Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna be with Nick Cannon. Give it up for Nick Cannon, man. Hey. Woo! Tell people how much you love Nick Cannon. I, re- I was talking about this earlier at the video shoot. I love um, Love Don't Cost a Thing. And then Underclassmen. Underclassmen. Underclass. Men. Underclassmen. I don't like Drumline that much. Come on, bro. That's a classic. I don't like that. Love Don't Cost a Thing, the best one, bro. Yeah. Wow. Y'all like Wild right? Out? Hey. Wild and Out was great. I had it written in my little journal in my fourth grade. Wow. I was trying to be on that show. DJ d Rep. Mm. Cut the beat. Iconic. <laughs> <laughs> HK, where'd you get your sense of humor from, bro? What do you... So anyways, back to my night. Um, <laughs> oh, another guest on Ginger Radio. Yeah, this is all food. If it's Postmates, have him come in. Nah, it's not. Who is it? He ran the f*** out of here. Who is it? Definitely Did they just come in the house? Oh, definitely heard big ass like, cam, nope. <laughs> No one in Brockhampton yeah, know how to cook, so that's why we be getting Postmates. It's a prank, bro. You come in. <laughs> uh, my sense of humor, I don't. I mean, I don't really like to. I don't think of myself as a funny man. I just. I just get what, but if 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 people think I'm funny, it's because I get it through just life and being around good people. Was your mom funny? I mean, she had her own sense of humor and she did make me laugh. I don't think it shaped. What, what type? What type of jokes? Just like, like the most mom jokes you could think of. I don't know. Can you tell us one, just one. She would. She would. <laughs> now nah, she doesn't have good jokes. Sometimes, like she would just like make funny faces, like she would stick her tongue out, like she like would, not I, trying to be I would funny, never know her. Your mom made first she was just like ah, and like cro- <laughs> 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 like or or like when um um like I'd be like when we would be talking about something and she was like uh and I'd be like frustrated or something. She would like to try to like lighten the mood. She would like make that funny face and like go like make her eyes go cross eyed. I've never seen anybody do that before, and she would be like, "Ah, that's mad cute." Try to like cheer me up. Who's the funniest person you know? <sighs> I don't think I met him yet. Oh, wow, oh, man! Real. But the question was, funniest person you, you know? know. Oh. <laughs> so you don't know nobody? <laughs> I really who? Everybody? I, I don't. Th- Remember when we used to laugh together, HK? We used to laugh. Used I to mean, laugh. you one of the funniest no, people I know. I'll, I'll put it this way, like, two, like... Let's go. Like, Let's go. 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 let us go 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 Ish. No, it's not because I have my Bluetooth off. Hey, funny man in the building. Yeah. Funny man. Kiko, who's the funniest person that you know? Probably HK or. Oh. I'll say HK or Loki. But you know, I'm like, you'd be way funnier though when you was me. But you nicer now. And the Jones have like gone away. You used to hurt my feelings every day. <laughs> are we he's just. Still, why are we going to air this out? On radio? Down in. I retired from Jonah for that reason. Yeah, I retired. I retired because I, I didn't I, like I didn't that. I don't like mean, the slander. That was me being a liar with them Jones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was so <laughs> it made me suffer, Yo, Kiko, bro. Kiko would just laugh and it would hurt somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Kiko would just like, <laughs> and then it'd be over. <laughs> it's a good reaction. It's a good reaction. It's amazing. Yo, Jones, all of us so good the other day. What'd I say? <laughs> Like y'all gonna be oh! <laughs> I got that off of my on my broken phone screen. I tried. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> secret, secret, secrets. <laughs> Merlin, funniest person I know. Ashlyn. Ashlyn, who's the funniest person you know? Say HK. Yeah, HK. 
The mic's not near him, so I'm answering. I'm just replying. Okay, okay. okay. He's he's a, person I know. Yeah. Oh, too nice. That's too funny. What's so funny about HK, though? Too funny. Yo, Karen, Karen also very funny. Oh, I yeah. Kieran is hilarious. Kieran, Kieran is hilarious. Merlin, funny. Jamar, this is Jamar. All right, I got a question. What's the question? If the Brockhampton house was on fire and you could only save two other people, oh who would you God. save? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Who y'all saving? I, saved, uh, I don't live at the house, so I can't answer. I'm saving the closest in proximity that I could save him and my life together so we could continue this in some way. I'm not going to pick. I'm not going to pick, but I'm, 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 run, I'm running in as I close like, as I can to save whoever I can. I feel like everybody would I feel like everybody would die in the fire trying to look for everybody else and get I'm, them together. I'm, I'm letting them all die. It's only fair. It's only fair. Wait, wait, Merlin, you have something to say? Merlin... You must keep saying that's that's the first person I'm gonna save. You saving yourself first? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's two. It's, it's one person? Yeah, there's one person. Yeah, there's two people I can save. So if you think about if you think about this question and we break it down, I'm not I'm not good at math, right? But if you if we all save ourselves, mm. you know you what I mean, and then we pick someone else strategically. Right? Right. And you could trust your gut. Who knows? I but we could all make okay. it out alive. Okay. I, I, okay. In the, in the time that you were talking, thank you for talking, because I just made up my mind the second person I would take. It would be... Um, you better answer correctly. <laughs> you better answer right. Kevin, after that, because that's the first person... That's the first friend I made. That's Aww. that's really sweet. I can't. I'm not mad at that. Well, I know it's your last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Joe. But you be the third, but only I can only take. It's two. cool, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm a survivor, you know. Yeah, bro. I'm a survivor. You got this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks, Merlin. Appreciate it. Love yeah, you. appreciate the honesty, dude. See, but I remember. I remember that. I love you. <laughs> that's love, bro. That's love, bro. For real. HK, who would you save? Lacey. I'm, sa- I'm, I'm saving I'm saving the Lacey's And I'm saving my Samsung T5's brother I'm saving the data man I, I need the I need them hard drives Let those go Let those let burn those die I need, a, I need the hard drives Sir I can't do it I work too hard I've been doing this too long To just let them burn Thank you for saving me I got you, bro. I got I got the they data just want all my hard work to I save my iCloud That's drive I save my me. Dropbox Google Drive All that J- I know, bro how big is this place we're recording Ginger Radio at? House is gonna get burned down. I thought he just brought him down, so I'm assuming it's just a like, yeah, I was creative house, creative house. So y'all's house? Yeah. yeah. I don't live there. I'm good. <laughs> Ginger Radio. <laughs> Ginger Radio. What's the vibes tonight, man? What's going on? I feel like there's an energy shift from last energy. episode of today. You know what? We, I think Jabari, you look down, man. What's going on, bro? You want to talk about it on air? <laughs> That's the same thing I was talking about last time. No, he didn't. He was thriving last episode. Thriving. 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 Lively. Thriving. We hungry. I'm I'm, I'm jet lagged. That's all it is. I don't really slept good. I feel you. Brother, (laughs) y'all cool? Romel, I do. I do do know what today is. What's it? Well, it's today is it's as of recording. It's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday. Can you just add it in? Add it in in the in the in the in the, in the video. I can't do it as well as he can. Today is Taco Tuesday. Yo 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 yo. How's everybody doing? You checking in? Ginger Radio. Right now you listen to Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio Beats One. Ginger Radio Beats One. Beats One, man. This is this is Ginger Radio this Beats is One. The legendary hip hop boy band. Collective, like you guys are killing it. Ginger Radio beats one. G- Ginger coming out this Friday. Woo! Ginger out this right. Friday. This Friday. Hey man, what's your favorite part about the album? My favorite part about the album? About yeah, the album. My favorite part. <laughs> the album. I don't know. What, what do you mean favorite part about the like album? This, when you listening to it, imagine like you watching a film. <laughs> when you hear the oh, album, there you go, he said it. Moment. Favorite moment. Like, you love him. Uh, You're like, oh. Sh- Every time you hear it. Really? You're terrifying right now. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the album, Matt? I got two. 
Okay, why are you staring at me like that? Well, one of my favorite moments is your moment at oh. the end of Victor Robert. Ooh. Oh, thank you. That's a good moment. Thank you. It's a good moment. Also, his part. It tied <laughs> together. The ginger. Oh, well, thank you, That's guys. Another, another favorite Karen moment of mine is his part on Big Boy. <laughs> thank you. Well... If we're cutting stuff out, let me just go ahead. And Wait, this doesn't need to get cut. Like, love me for life so is love me for love, love me for life. Probably the key part of Ginger because that's the best part of the album. <laughs> <laughs> love me. All right, wheel it. <laughs> run it back. Run love it back. me. Love me for life. Got to be the part of Ginger because that <laughs> is good. <laughs> Ginger Radio Beats One. We cutting that. Nah, keep that. Uh, we're keep we're cutting day. that. What was the name on All American Trash? DJ Poofy. No, uh, no it's just Poofy, right? Yeah, Poofy. Poofy. That was a Poofy one. Right? Show us the Poofy character. Poofy, Poofy. It's, it's just this on 10. I don't like 60. Not gonna talk about the hymns? Oh yams, the uh, uh, nope. That's that's an old me, man. I don't do it. I don't like that. Ginger radio. Yo, how'd you how'd you how'd you kids meet Slow Tie? Uh, it's okay. Point the mic up. Point the mic up. Right, right, right. I forgot. Um, I was trapped in London for a month, unfortunately, for visa issues. And while I was out there, I happened to meet a very dope producer named Quest Darko. Who was great friends with um, Slow Tie, and he also produces for Slow Tie. Mm-hmm. Um, while I was out there, I was supposed to um, work with them. The session didn't really pan out, but I told them like, "Yo, when you guys come to um, LA, like, pull up on me, we gonna chill and shit, whatever the case is." Like, Brockhampton might be working on music. Just come through, kick it with the guys, and see what's up. And I brought them through. They were really dope. Everyone was receptive to both their energies, and we basically clicked. And it's We've been cool. The whole group has been cool with them ever since. That's amazing. Great guy. Is that a great guy? Okay, okay, okay. Who's y'all's dream collab? Dream collab? Yeah, everybody. Go ahead. Kiko. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, bring it back to me. I don't know yet. Uh, okay, okay, okay. for Brockhampton? Yeah. No, like, if you could produce, like, a whole album for an artist. Damn, I don't have that. You know, or, like... I don't have that, but I know... Th- Produce like whatever, whatever way you'd like to collab with them. It doesn't have to be for the group, just like an individual. For me, Brian, this for some on a on a young Barry level, I would love to produce with the Dream because like you know, it just really helped me out in terms of melodies and all that. Like I really just really resonated with that when I was young. You know, That's like Shawty is a teen. That that was a bop. You know, uh, falsetto, all that. So that would be a little dream for me still. It would be a dream be to a work dream. with the dream. Mm. You heard it. What Ginger Radio. What's a director or a video you want to shoot or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't think about that too much. You think about it right now? Come on, let's go. Uh, or like a actor. Or yeah, yeah. Oh, man, somebody who's really great is Hunter Schaefer. I really love the character that she plays in, <laughs> in Euphoria, man. It's really great. Right on. Right on. Jules. Jules. Shout out Jules. Shout out Jules. Joba, you out? Nah, I gotta get my stuff. Oh, okay. Make noise for Joba, y'all. Woo! <laughs> Rob, dream collab? Um, either Justin Vernon of Bonnie Vare or Robin Pecknell of Fleet Foxes. Robert Patterson? Robert Patterson, too. What would you do with these people? Um, I don't know. You just love to be in the room and make something. Yeah, I, I love that. I love all their you music. <laughs> I haven't listened to it, <laughs> but but I, I like Hey Ma that song. I love it actually. It's really great. That's a question I feel. Like. Yeah. It's a very yeah, tough question. Saying, man. I can say a hypothetical. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Bill Evans, great pianist, rest in peace. Word. I would love to just play bass with him. And who, whatever drummer he wants to throw in the mix, that'd be cool. You say Travis Barker? <laughs> I like to work with Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Actually. Hold on. In what way you want? Travis Scott. Let's not talk about that. Because <laughs> I used to go to meet and greets as a kid. That's fine. Don't be ashamed. Yeah, don't be ashamed. Don't tell me what not to be ashamed about, little. Okay. You right. My bad. Ginger Radio. This is Ginger Radio. We we uplift each other, man. Shout out Ill Roots. Shout out Mike Wax. Yo! Shout out, shout out Mike Wax, Mike Carson. Mike Carson. Hey, can you like Mike Carson? 
Yeah, he's a legend, man. Let's get into this hip hop sh- though. Oh, ginger ale. Hip hop. Sh- How you guys feel about like you know what acid rap did for the culture? That that did a lot. It, ch- man. it did change oh. everything, though. Think about all the many chances that came after acid rap. It Who's the mini- acid rap I'm not gonna name changed names. my life in college. You know, so many nights spent listening to. Uh, <laughs> Cocoa Butter Kisses. That song is that song is great. Uh, Acid Rain. It's a great uh, song. You know what? Shout out Chance. Y'all want to get some Chance? Let's, Let's get into some mother Cocoa Butter Kisses. Woo! No, no, no. You want some else? Push him in. Push him in. That's the first half. All right. It's a little Chance Power Hour right here on uh, Beast One. Shade 45. <laughs> rewind, rewind, HK, HK, say it. Yo, wheel it, wheel it, wheel it, wheel it. HK, where are we? <laughs> we are, yo, this is this is Ginger Radio on Beats One. Shout out to the rapper though, for real, for real. Better get the push rap. I was a senior in high school. I fucking love that album. His live show was fire. I wanted to be just like him. Much love the channel. Chicago, mm. 79th. <laughs> And right after that, let's run into Ultralight Beam. Oh, let me see this. Hey, Ginger Radio. Let's Ginger hold on, Radio. Hold on. Before we get into that, y'all remember when I went to go visit y'all in San Marcos? And then we drove to. And then Dallas. y'all made me drive y'all all the way to oh, Dallas? To see us. Oh, to go see Chance. To just to see Chance. Chance. And we ended up playing that venue. Yeah. That was a trip. All right, let's get into it. Yo, we are back. You listening to Beats One? This your boy K A Young Young Ginger Young. Radio. Next to Young, what y'all call him earlier? Slash Man. Oh. Double the real Double Slash Man. <laughs> what y'all doing? Damn. I'm drinking on some. I'm drinking some Sprite and Syrah. Sidebar, real that's quick. All, that's all. My energy's a little different tonight. <laughs> thanks, thanks Zane Lowe for letting us take over your show. Right, right. Well, Romil just said, shout out Zane Lowe. He got. He always show us so much love, man. Zane. 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 <laughs> what you eating there? What you eating there, Russell? Um. Uh, uh, the NY steamer from Firehouse Sauce, baby. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Like, go get one. <laughs> go get one. Yo, what's the best restaurants in LA? We already said Starving Actor. What's the other spots? Sushi Jen. Yep. Not You don't want to name them? Sushi Jen. It's a sushi oh, spot downtown. Oh, we're blowing the spots up. Yeah, it's fine. You know what? The business, I Give believe in them enough. Though. They deserve it all. Hey, Jong Chong. Yeah, we, need, we need a finder's. Korean <laughs> barbecue. Billy. Oh, I mean, there's many. Monty's 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 and Nick's. Great. Zap for Pat Ord. North North Hollywood, though. Are you talking about Super Classic. Best restaurants in LA, Merlin. Craven Crab Cakes? Man, that's the place to get a crab cake. Yeah, it's like, it's the size of a CD this, and it's about like... Big ass crab cake. Big ass crab cake. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> nasty. <laughs> nasty. In the good way. In the good way. It's oh. sloppy. Man, man, I got a question. What do you guys think about Claro's new album? I love it. Love favorite it. song. Favorite Bags. song. Bags. Softly. Okay. Sinking. Sinking. My favorite one is Bags. Oh, Bags. Bags is the best I song ever. I can't like it. There's nothing wrong with liking the single, man. Bro. There's nothing wrong with liking the single. Bro. Kiko got it. Kiko got something to say. There's nothing wrong with liking the single, man. I know. Oh, I you know, this. I have an issue with you guys, man. Because sometimes I listen to Smells Like Teen Spirit. You're like, oh, you can't f- with that. But I f- with that song, man. I f- with that one. <laughs> You guys always every every time I listen to bags, you like play wait, do you remember like play softly? I wanna play bags though. Do y'all remember when they played that Sophia's a hot one? That like dubstep house version of Smells Like Teen Spirit in the club that one night? That was fire. (laughs) Yo, honestly, the best Brockhampton songs are the singles. You guys need to step y'all shit up. Oh shut up. Because the (laughs) beat I'm getting y'all prepared for these interviews, man. I'm getting y'all prepared. Shut up. <laughs> That's what you gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Shut that. up. That would be Shut amazing, up. actually. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. It's like, y'all don't know about this old hip hop. Shut up. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. 
Anyway. Huh. All right, bye, Merlin. Peace. Merlin is leaving yeah. the building. My African king is leaving. Bye, Merlin. God bless your soul. See you home, my brother. Yo, man, I got a question for you. Merlin, logging off. Bye bye. Yo, at, right at this at this moment in time, we gonna get into some motherfucking scissors. Drop the weekend. Woo! Hey, we back. What up? This is Kevin Abstract and Brock Hampton at the motherfucking Beast One Studio. <laughs> we, I'm lit as f right now, man. <laughs> this rock is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh shout man, we not shout out Diddy. Shout out Diddy one time. Ah. Shout out Diddy. I appreciate you, BH guys, man. Letting me, you know, come into y'all space to interview y'all. It's a different, bro. We're in our house. Trying to play a character, man. Uh. Actually, we're not even gonna keep talking. We are gonna get to some JT. Let's yeah. drop. Let's drop that mother. What y'all want? Um, Cry me a river. Let's do it. Let's and go. After that, another one. Alright, just straight to my love. Yeah. The, the, my yeah, love. Yeah, Play the extended version with the, with the intro with the intro on it. Let's go. Oh, Zane Lowe, is that okay? Oh, that, Zane Lowe, is that okay? Yeah. Uh, I think he said it's okay. Let's <laughs> run that. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about Arizona. Yo, 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 yeah, let's talk about Arizona baby iridescence, right? Cool. Okay, 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 cool. Uh, okay, I got the I got the Air, first one. I got go the first go question. Ahead, you got it. Why didn't you drop 33? Oh, oh man, 33. You, we, we can play that. We can play that right now for the people. If you play it, I'm finna cry. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, for those who don't know, 33 is the title of uh, Ashlyn HK's favorite song from the Arizona baby sessions. Can't focus on you around. I just thought I should tell you that I know I need you around, need you around And I don't wanna have to take nothing back I wish you'd lose it or something that annoying Or a bad person make things way easier for me Go kids, I won't be fine, I won't be good, I won't be so much up for great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, 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 baby,
also let me let, let you motherfuckers know right now that's that's listening. Man, when we started Ginger, I was working on Arizona Baby. Speak on. There's some records. There's some records for Arizona Baby that ended up on Ginger. This is yes. That's very true. Yes. Actually, not on the record, but on. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> 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 we worked on the snippet, true. The snippet and um, and uh, if you pray right, second half of if you pray right. Yeah. What's the The second half of the song you, you don't like that we all love. The the song the song at the end of the if you pray right videos from the ginger se- uh, the Arizona baby sessions. Yo, Ian, I got a question for you. What's up, Dom? What was your favorite moment of making ginger? Man, just being around you guys, man. You guys uplift me and make me smile and like going to work every day was like. Almost like going to church. For sure. All right. So layer. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> layering on that. Layering on that question. What's your favorite musical moment on the album? Like, if you could like pick one. I like um, the part. I didn't like that much at first. The end of "Love Me for Life" when Barry added the extra, sh- and I was like, I don't know. But every time I hear it now, I'm like, damn, it's fire. I was sleep. But you know what? You this happened before. This happened before with Gold. This is true. I didn't want Mar- Merlin's part in there. And we at the show, and they be like, whatever that part, you know what I'm saying? I love that part. I want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, my favorite part, uh, it's up there, was at Chateau when you had the the Marnie fit oh, from so head to toe. Oh, oh, my God. And you laid, no, 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 no. He laid, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like what Barry said when he puts his chains on and everything, and he, he wants to feel like he's going to work. I saw Ian in that that whole Marnie fit, and I was like, "Wow, this is somebody else on the song." What so, dude, I remember though, but what I remember, I, we're with you. Hey. Did, no, we, he was just like wearing. You were wearing it, and you were just like in the corner looking out the window, going, bopping, and just bopping back and forth, just listening to what you just laid down. And I remember I was looking at you and listening to it and catching my own vibe. And you looked at me. I don't know if you remember this, but I remember I just. Do you remember me just going? Like I, I kind of like I put my like my left eyebrow down and just started pointing at you, and then like wrote my verse for that song and like, like like breathing, love me for life. Oh, yeah, I just That's remember that, awesome. that was a great moment. <clears throat> Arizona baby started on October twenty seventh, twenty eighteen. We were in the Detroit venue, the Masonic Temple, and we we started. We didn't even work on no music. You know what we did in that dressing room? We worked on the artwork. We worked on some drafts. We know what we did after that? What you do? Kept it in the pocket. Ooh. You know what we did? What you do after that? The seat on the ground. Uh You know what we did? What you do? Water it. Whoa. You know what we did? What else? Let the kids take a break. Uh You know what we didn't do? Uh Stop working on that. Uh Kept it growing. What Uh did we do to keep growing? Oh, you know what we did? Uh Set the creative team up. Uh Started working out. Uh You know what we did? Uh We got big on them. Huh. And then you know what we did? Huh. We taught them empathy. Huh. Oh, oh, hey. What else? We dropped the snippet on them. Who? Hey, we put the ladder on the. We put the ladder in the backyard for them. No. Let's go. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Y'all love that. Y'all love that soccer goal. Ooh. Oh. Listen, listen, listen. He put the. He put the. He put the white. The white tank top on. I'm not, I'm not gonna say hey, the the wave was. Yeah. While we talking about Arizona, baby, let's get into um. The OG version of Use Me, which was for Brock Hampton, me and Dom on it. Wow. Let's get into that. Wow. Dom, can we drop that? Yes, absolutely. Can we That's drop that? Love that shit. Give That's me some crazy. energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're Rob. Let's go. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Ginger Radio. Ready, KTT. What up? Bathroom, so I ain't sitting with that. Angels hitting that glass too. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that. I'm still smoking that crack too. My mama was dealing with that. Bitch guys out in Corpus. Them lights are so gorgeous. In the garage, I'm in a fortune. And I'm still trying to go every morning. Man. It's amazing how I'm still searching, y'all. Still rich, man. I'm fit to love. I'm a butt love. She a butt love. Close the blinds, let the lights go off. Duck low in case the rain's off. And take it all with speed and ease. You like me on my knees. Generational trauma things. I wonder how far I could bring this dish to my existence. My wish, how can I get a witness? I lift it, turn it into a vicious. I spit it, let that man rip it, just get it. Everything gonna be okay. I'm a silly weapon. Try to change my mind, my face. 
are back. Man, this has been a long show, but we do this for y'all. You know that was the you know that verse was like one of the first things I wrote like in the world of Ginger too. Like when I heard that track, I was like so fucking inspired. We made that we made that for Ginger. Yeah, 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 I remember. That was one of the first songs you made for Ginger. It was that and Ginger 3. Those are the first two that I wrote to that, that been you had done. Crazy on the album. It been a different vibe. The fa- the favorite favorite song off Ginger? <sighs> favorite song off Ginger. Um I I listen to Big Boy a lot. Big Boy is great. When, Boy. when Karen's part comes in, I'll be like, this. oh my. Joba's Joba's part is amazing too, bro. Man, like, oh Big my Boy. God, there's there's so many good parts to that song. Favorite Your song? part's fire as hell too. Oh man, thank you, bro. Now, if I had a, no, that's sing it crazy. Oh, oh we bro. it ain't out yet. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> so these snippets are kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Is it cool if I talk about something real quick? As long as we don't got to cut it out the show, because we got enough of that in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to talk about... <laughs> no, nah, I was going to... That's so funny. That's I was going to talk about the last song, if that's cool. <laughs> yes, cool. The last song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You um, want me to set it up, or you just want to oh. go in? I mean, it's up to you. Whatever you want. Let's set it up. Let's, I like it. Just so people could yeah, yeah. understand what we're talking about. All right, man, Ginger, this album is... Thank, thank you for letting me hear it, first off, before you guys came in. Of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> I'm... Bro, I'm a DJ. Let him, let him do his thing, yeah. Thank you, Dom. Hey, let me do my thing. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Okay, okay, move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm laughing here. Do your thing. All right, my bad. Yo, yo thank you guys, though, for real, mm-hmm. um, for letting me. The record's beautiful. Your parts, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> like, like, you really, man, um, all I, I'm excited for your record. That's all I got to say, because you were mm. shining. I don't have an album coming. Please cut to this. I'm just assuming you okay. do, because you want my speculation. Favorite. You know, this this is job. He's supposed to speculate. I'm... Speak on it. Too fast. Drop. <laughs> Too furious. <laughs> Man, but but honestly, my the record that 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 stood out the most to me was um Victor Roberts. The last one. Mm. The last song. Yeah. Who is that? Um, Victor is one of my friends. That I met online actually through playing video games. I used to um. What type of video games y'all play? Yeah, I was playing skate on Xbox 360. He and, seems um, like a skate type of dude. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess so. Um, but we were we were playing that online like video, like voice chat and shit like that, and we ended up connecting, and he ended up producing on two of my first like mixtapes that I did back in the day in like 2012, 2013. Mm. Um, I never really knew that he like rapped and stuff like that until I moved out here for maybe like even after moving out here like maybe like two years ago was the first time that he told me that he had been writing stuff and like he never really had the means to record it because of his family situation and his living situation so he came to the house um probably like maybe a a week and a half after we started working on the album yeah when you were when you were um after the 1999, he came over. That was like the first time that we had kicked it when you did the treadmill stuff. You were still in Texas, I'm pretty sure. And he showed me that verse, and I just like stopped him in the middle of him rapping it to me on the front porch. And I was like, "Can we like record this like right now?" And in that moment, like I I realized this person was sharing their story with me, and it was a story that the world deserved to hear. And I wanted to do everything in my power to like make sure that that story got heard. So what'd you do? Um, I tried to give him the most comfortable environment that we could. Romel did an amazing job. We actually used the original version of like the track that he had. He had this other beat that he had rapped to originally. What was the beat? What was the beat again? Um, I for- it was an Earl song, but I can't remember what Earl song it was. He just so everyone, it everyone out there listening, just so you understand what's going on here, this is this man's first time ever recording a song. Yes, like this is ever. his first time touching a microphone. And he and did it in the Brockhampton house, and it was, it's such a powerful story. It moved yeah, all of us. And I mean, to be, to be absolutely honest, it's one of those things where it's like, if I had the opportunity to do that for everybody that I cared about, like, I feel like that's my story right there. That's beautiful. You know, and I'm just grateful that I have a group of friends that were understanding enough and open enough to, like, accept this human being and, like, give him the chance to tell his story. Because y'all didn't have to do that either. And I'm grateful Do you grateful consider for him a part of the group? I consider him an irreplaceable part of my life. I wouldn't, like, the, the, I mean, being completely candid, I feel like the group is your world and we're living in it. You know what I'm saying? And in a part of that, like, I just want to do the best I can to, like, enhance that world. I feel like he's a part of the group now because, like, 
he's on that song forever. Yeah. On this album that means so much to us. I feel like a lot of people are part of the group, though, that aren't fully in it, you know? Like I feel that. Yeah. Ryan, Kevin. Yeah. Nick. Like, our best friends. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just in case he was wondering how sure. I felt about him. Well, something I really love about Ginger, one, one of my favorite things about the record, is how people in the group kind of brought people who are not in the group uh, that are also in their life to us. So, like, for example, you brought Victor to us. Barry brought his boy, Chuck to us. Yeah, yeah. Chuck to us. Well, we got to get him that guy. Yeah, and and it was, it was just, yeah. just kind of nice seeing, like, people's um, relationships and lives, out, lives outside of this yeah. group because for so long, this has been all we've known. For sure. And we kind of had some time to, like, explore life outside this and it's so nice to see what people brought yeah. back and how much that contributed to all of us because yeah. like without Chucks we wouldn't have been able to make the album without Victor we wouldn't have been able to make the record Yeah, and it's but crazy because that's one of the album. like few people in my life that I keep in contact with that I've known before I knew y'all that's amazing and like yeah, I mean it's just it's like really really crazy to think that like in, in the one common denominator that we have like the one common ground that I have with y'all that I have with him is we all met on the internet crazy just different places. Can we get into some of the guys and, and girls that came by the house? Absolutely. That that weren't even, that didn't even make the record, you know? Yeah. You know, so, um, who do you want to start with? I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I'm thinking who was there, man. Dijon was there. Yep. Y'all, y'all, y'all made a song with Dijon called, uh, 150. 150. 150. Sing it, hey. I'm gonna hit you in the phone rain twice. Uh, they gonna rip it. Okay, and I'm gonna meet you outside. They gonna rip it hard, bro. <laughs> 150 on the dash. bro. That song Daylight we did was super hard too. My boy, my boy Gary came through and he was playing oh, guitar as well. Yeah, yeah. That song's that song's Gary a vibe. Was he was really talented. Yeah, he's he's ridiculous. Man, that guy was a wizard. Yeah. yeah. We made like over a hundred songs for this album, right? A lot. Yeah. Remember that night we sat in the room and just listened to every single song. Yeah. Towards the end of uh, making this album, we had so many different ideas and songs, and we were trying to, like, I guess, figure it out. So we just sat in uh, the studio and listened to, like, every single demo we had for the record. And we would just call out, oh, we like that one. No, we don't like that one. And we just, like, put together a little list of songs that we had to complete. So, Did we end up using some of those? There was that yeah. one. There was uh, Rich Boy. Yeah. Ooh, Rich Boy. Ooh, <laughs> was maybe one day that's Yo, party. maybe Rich Boy will come out. Can we one talk day. about Shucks real quick? Because I really like want people to know like the role that he man, played. Man, get in it, the get into that, man. Such a like, nice guy. Watching the two of y'all make music together so was nice, like some bro. of the coolest shit I've ever seen too. Um, shout out to my shout out to my brother Shucks. Uh, I've I met him when I was out in London, going back to the story about me being trapped over there. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens. Yeah, we get, so right while being trapped over there, I was trying to figure out like what was the what was the what was the point of all of this? Because it was the first time in my life where like post being successful, like having money or having any type of recognition didn't help my situation in no type of way. Like, it didn't, it didn't make a difference, you know? Um, anyway, so I was out there, I met my brother Shirk sleeping on my homie's couch, or dancing, because unfortunately, I got banned from Airbnb on some bullshit. You did? Yeah. The, what are you doing? They, Just say it. They say egregious property damage. Y'all niggas know that don't make no type of sense. I'm like the cleanest member here. I don't Let's like... them big bar this is true. <laughs> this is true. But anyways, that happened. And I happened to just be chilling with my homie at Dunsey, who is this Nigerian artist who I was also working with over there. Um, Shooks happened to be there. Uh, saw his skills. I learned that he played guitar for Burner Boy. And throughout, like, hanging out in London for, like, a week, we became kind of close because we, we all, like, were staying with Dunsey, you know, hanging out and shit. He explained to me that he was kind of kind of like iffy about continuing music he had been making music for such a long time and he hadn't really be hadn't really gone like the big break that he was looking for as a producer so i was telling him like bro you come now to coachella to play with burner boy like just come through and work with me like the homies are chill they're very welcoming it's not gonna be a thing just just post up like we might not make anything but we could make something but just come through because i know you're talented and i feel like you could be utilized somehow 
Anyways, fast forward to me coming back, like, months after uh, he came out in May. Uh, was it May? May or April? I can't remember. One well, somewhere between them. He it was came, May, I think. It was yeah, May. May. Yeah, yeah. yeah, came out during May. Um, we met Shia. The, that was the first time he pulled up, so that was, like, a mind f- to it. Like, he did not expect the house to be, like, what it was going to be. It's like, you meet a bunch of artists. He already knows where Brockhampton is, and you, you Shia around, and he pulls Shia up and just talks to us for, like... I was just on some normal sh- Yeah. And then we're like, let's, let's go make some music. Um, thank God for Shooks, though, because his style really, like, his style of playing guitar really defined some of the songs that I know y'all is going to love. Like, um, Sugar. Yeah, name every song he did with you. Okay, shout out to Sugar. Uh, he did the guitar on that, too. Shout out to No Halo. He did the guitar on that. And also, shout out to Borbai. That part that y'all like, the thum, 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 thum. Can I talk about that real quick? Or is that about- you got it. Go ahead and interject. Yeah. You got it. Like, I was in the studio watching Barry make that beat, and I will say that the moment that he came up with, like, that melody line is one of the craziest things I've seen a person do in the studio. Because it was like, he had this beat that was, like, finished, or, like, close to being finished, but he, like, was racking his brain, like, there's something missing here. And then I remember, like, Chucks was sleeping on the couch on the side, and he, like, woke Chucks up, and he's like, yo, I have a melody for you to play. And then he just, like, started saying it, and like he, it took him maybe like two or three minutes yeah. like to get it right. But once they did, I was like, "Yo, this is bananas." Shout to my boy Bye. Yeah, boy Bye. Boom, 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 boom. You know like that it? specific <laughs> line right there. Like, yeah, that was crazy. There's also, there's there's also a lot of songs that he worked on with us that didn't make the record yeah. that were really pivotal because they kind of shifted the song. Yeah. They helped us figure out where we wanted to go with the music. This is true. So I'm really pivotal. Yeah, so I was sure he's too, definitely man. a part of the group. My brother going to be back, and whenever we do it again, he's it's definitely going to be there. Always welcome. Always shout out to Plato, shout out to Shucks. Let's get into that boy bye real quick. Hey. What's that, man? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bye. Man, I had to say something. I was just saying we miss you. Hey, give us a drop for boy bye. Come on, come on. Go into it. Hey, we're going straight into boy bye. This is Ginger Radio. Woo! Oh, man, I think we're, like, pretty... We, we did... This is a good one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ramil. You gotta go through this and chop it up. Yeah, it's been like 75 this is a great minutes. way to end it. Joe has to leave. We'll see you guys. The Where you going, Joe? Oh, man, oh, and I'm, I'm going to shoot my part for No Halo video right here, right now. Uh, it's by the time y'all see this, the No video. Halo video should be. Or wait, yeah, video will be yeah. out by the time, time y'all see this. Hear this. You know what? We gonna end it with mother No Halo. Woo! Thank you very much, I'm Apple. Sure. Thank you, Beast. Woo! All right, guys. No one help me when my eyes go red. HK, give us a give us a drop on the way out. Please, Please auto tune just that. Woo! All right, here we go. We gonna auto tune this? No, bro. It's oh, listen, exit listen, 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 listen. You already know this is HK from Brockhampton, yeah. All American boy band. Yeah. About to drop Ginger cool. this Friday. This is no halo. Let's get right into it. Man. Ginger Radio. Oh,